going guys? It's uh, Edward. I'm here with uh, Art. Art's usually in front of the camera, but today he's uh, asked me to be in front of the camera. What's up guys? Um, so yeah, we're out here in Virginia. We're at uh, Driver Motorsports. You know, these guys are the uh, JDM VIP importers um, out here. They're super excited to be here. We've been working back and forth with them. They're doing a lot of projects with us. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, go in and uh, introduce, up, uh, introduce you guys to the team. It's about to walk in. All right, so we're here at Driver Motorsports. Now we're inside. So we got Chris, Edward, nice to meet you. Devin, nice Devin, to meet you. Josh, Josh, Dan. Dan. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. So, Driver Motorsports. Tell me a little bit. How did you guys get into it? How long have you been in business for? Uh, we've been in business since 2014. All right. That's when we started importing cars. All right. Before that, we were selling some parts. Okay. So it goes back to 2010, but. 2014 is when we started importing JDM vehicles. Um, basically, it stems from a buddy of mine owned some JDM cars and actually started a JDM import business. And I was going to go into business with him. That didn't work out. It was amicable to where I was gonna do my thing, he was gonna do his thing. Mm -hmm. So he's still in business doing his thing and I couldn't be happier that it didn't work out. Yeah. with him because it's really worked out for us that's so that's to hear so where did the name driver motorsports come from well my last name is driver for real yeah. it actually is <laughs> and um i actually paid and got the url shoot i'd say back in like 2003 or 2004 i just was like driver Smart motorsports move, yeah. i need to just get that now yeah so no one else can grab it and then it actually worked out. You know, I got the name before I had the business. And uh, so that's where it comes from, is my last name, and it just works for the Super business. Awesome. One big question we'd like to ask is, yeah. uh, how does Vibrant tie into the business that you do? Because you are importing, so you can't yes. say we're getting the parts from Japan, because obviously they're right. coming from here. Right. So how do you see that Vibrant performance ties in with Driver Motorsports? Okay, so we're importing cars. Right, and a lot of people, we would take the car from Japan, a GTR most of the time, like I said, mm -hmm. and we would fix up the engine bay and we'd make it look fantastic, okay? And people were contacting me all the time, hey, can you work on my car? No, I can't, I'm not, you know, I just import cars. Mm -hmm. Can you work on my car? Can you work on my car? Constantly getting requests to build their car. So finally, I just thought, hey, I need to do this, right? Yeah. So. One thing too, I felt it was a hedge because we can work on cars and import cars. Mm -hmm. What happens if one day the United States government decides that they're not gonna allow imports anymore, yep. you know, antique imports anymore. Yeah, yeah definitely think of that. Then, you know, what would happen? So we would remain in business because we have a different division now. Okay. So that just, exploded all right we basically i had to buy a dyno because i was like we can't be a tuner shop mm -hmm. without a dyno and then it had to be an all-wheel drive dyno since we got, GTR <laughs> we got gtrs yeah. right so uh all-wheel drive dyno we have that in the back we'll have to show you that soon too um and a few gtrs and a few gts yeah. a couple but you know it was it, it just you know kind of took off mm -hmm. from there and I couldn't do it without, you know, the people that work for me yeah. and, you know, the team that we have now is phenomenal. So we use vibrant products in all of our builds, basically. Um, the HD clamps was what <laughs> brought us to you. Yeah. Okay. We started using some HD clamps and it was like, wow, this is top of the line. So that. then we started buying more of the fabrication you know, and then titanium. Yep. So we did a uh, build for Rival, Brad Nielsen, uh, Rival GTR, okay, uh, R34 GTR. It is legal, it's one of the legal ones. <laughs> and uh, we did full titanium everything in yeah, that car. It's definitely a showstopper at and Tima, I mean, inside. it's it's phenomenal. Uh, yep. Devin, our fabricator, did it, you know, so he's, amazing yep. for you know how old he is as, as well it's incredible 
So we'll take a look at some of his work later. And, but yeah, I mean, basically just, we want the best and we want to be the best. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the best products and that's vibrant. We definitely appreciate that. So one thing that I've noticed, and even though you're building the GTRs and you're using our parts, um, a lot of things that you do with the cars that you're bringing in, being 25 years old, you're working a lot towards pure directness when it comes to rims, uh, when it comes to the look, the style, uh, the whole VIP or VIP style, as some people yes. like to call it. Um, we say VIP. It, you say VIP, we say, we say VIP. VIP. Yeah. I guess that's the deciding factor if you're yeah. American or Canadian. Yes, yes. Um, has that been hard to find those rims and like get good quality it, it, rims? It I know we have a wall it here. Is. We so. have a wall of wheels here. We basically buy these out of Japan. Okay. All right. And we ship them over here. Um, we go for the period correct ones. Number one, because they're period correct, but I, I would say the reason really we bring them in is because they're the best looking. Yes. I mean, I believe so. I, I don't really like the newer stuff too much. I agree um, with you. The older style is just better. All right, so but we'll yeah, meet the rest of the team. Would love to and love to see the rest of the facility. All right, well, let's go. Here's Dan, he's good in front of the camera. I'm Dan, I'm good in front of the camera. <laughs> you definitely are, I mean, if you've seen any of your guys' YouTube videos. I am the, I guess you would call it head of sales here at Driver Motorsports. If you've ever contacted us about buying a car, you've talked to me. Um, I kind of do most of the front of house stuff here. So the dealership okay. side of things, as far as, um, you know, cars that are gonna be for sale or people are gonna be buying. Um, kind of walk them through the process and tell them about the cars. There's a lot of education involved with buying yeah. one of these cars. Like, imagine. how do I get maintenance parts and, and things like that. So luckily there's a lot of crossover parts or even the chassis are the same as some of the US cars. So it makes it pretty easy. I never have to sell anything. We're super transparent with all the cars. And, nice. um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really cool. Well, if you uh, are ready, I mean, we're ready to start walking into the back and see All right. what we got going on. Let's check out more stuff. All right. All right, so we've got our engine, engine building room. So Take I was already introduced to yeah. Josh, the engine builder and tuner. Uh, pretty much hired on about a year ago nice. uh, when I was finishing my time in service in the Navy and uh, came out to interview and work here and it just I fit perfectly so uh, my background as far as building cars came from a passion from my dad like he nice. just he turned it turned it over to me and then before uh, before too long I was building some crazy stuff mostly in my, my personal garage and tuning cars on the street and then it evolved into building cars for friends and then who knew that I would later study it and be certified to do things like this as a profession <laughs> something that comes near to dear with me uh, a lot of people don't know before I started at Vibrant I was a chef and organization and cleanliness is like a big thing for me. So to walk into an engine room like this, it's fantastic to see. But even when you come into a, you know, your storage room and you can see like how professional everybody is, this is beautiful. Uh, so yeah, you can see like these guys keep everything super organized, tidy and ready to go. Um, to me, this is, a, this is a great thing. I love seeing that. Um, I think it's gonna give you an idea what you're gonna see throughout the video. Um, everything that they do from here on in from you know, the finishing builds and to the full builds, you're gonna see a lot of cleanliness and organization, which I love personally. This is garage number one. Yes. Garage number one. A lot of importers will just import them, wash them up and sell them. I mean, mm -hmm. they say it as much, they just say, you know, fresh off the boat, Yep. you know, come get it. We get the cars in, trucks, and we have a checklist that we go through and extensively look at everything with the vehicle brake pads, we make sure all the lights work, we make sure the suspension's tight, maybe we've got to replace a ball joint or something like that, we do that. Um, and then every vehicle we have also has to pass a Virginia State inspection. So yeah, we, we do a lot of uh, Land Cruisers. Um, this is a 80 series Land Cruiser. They come in diesel and gas, everybody in the United States, like they came here, but not that many. Yeah. And n diesels, you know, I think maybe there was some, but maybe hardly handful, yeah. any diesels. So everybody wants to get their hands on a diesel Land Cruiser. But, you know, personally, I like the gas ones yeah. better. But yeah, this is a badass ride right here. And sure car. We got our VIP. A, a VIP car, <laughs> okay. This is a Toyota Crown. Uh, these were never sold here. Yep. So people are hot on these. They love these cars. Uh, 
with these, you know, they come in, they're in really good condition. Mm -hmm. I'm buying them, they've got 30, 40,000 miles on them. Yeah, exactly. And they're in great condition already because they were adult owned, you know. Yeah. It wasn't like a, okay, like Skyline GTST. Um, most of them are beat up, yeah, right? It's a fun, it's the a fun GTRs to seem to be better taken care of because yeah. people knew like, oh, this is the GTR. The GTST people were just like, ah, screw it, you yeah. know, this is just GTST. <laughs> yeah. Now they're becoming more valuable yeah, even the GTST. The GTR is being you know? sold, sought after right now. You right. That, yeah. If you want a Skyline, you know, and you, you can can't afford sixty, seventy thousand dollars for mm -hmm. a GTR, you can get a GTST twenty five, thirty thousand dollars now. Mm -hmm. It's about the market for a, a nice one, yep. you know. Um, and then of course we can fix them up even more. Let's say a customer wants a little sound to it, so we'll put a vibrant exhaust on it. Yeah, Custom made driver motorsports with vibrant parts. All right, we use a vibrant can and uh, all the tubing and everything's vibrant, the hangers, everything. So um, we love vibrant stuff, of course. That's why you're here. That's why we're definitely right. here. Because we love you guys and yeah. uh, hopefully mm. it's- uh, It's definitely been mutual. And mutual. Yeah, it's definitely okay. been mutual. All right. so, um, as we were talking, you know, uh, Driver Motorsports over the years have, has grown. Um, like Chris said, it went from one car to two cars. Um, you saw the lineup out in the front. Uh, we're going to move on over to the expansion of what Driver Motorsports is now. Yes. And uh, it's super exciting what's in there. I think everyone's going to be, uh, uh, be uh, enjoy what they yeah, got to see. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So yeah. that's, you know, like a whole other division. Okay. We have our import cars okay we import cars and sell them mm -hmm. right and then we also source cars for people as well so if you want to buy you know something we don't normally buy you want a honda civic or something like that yeah contact us we can get it for you, you want an nsx yep we can get one for you it doesn't necessarily um, have to be a jdm vip or vip car right on the thing or right. a truck yeah. um you know like i said in the beginning we mostly imported r32 gtrs because mm -hmm. there was none imported here in the united states so yep. we didn't have that so it was special car and everybody i mean come on you know you watch fast and furious you <laughs> yeah, played gran turismo okay you yeah. wanted a gtr so mines is the the mines r34 has been like the crisp car and that's strictly because of Gran Turismo. So, right. Yeah, I totally understand that. Right. So, I mean, it's what you grew up with and, yep. you know, that's what you love. So, the GTR was a natural for mm -hmm. us to start importing and selling because everybody loves a GTR. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll go to back building and check that out. A couple more cars out here. Yeah. Okay. Another uh, Celsius and then a Y33 Cedric or Gloria. And then also JZX100 Chaser. Okay, that's my car. That's, that's what I drive. Baby. That's my daily. Yeah. I love that car too. Like yeah. so, uh, like yeah. So you started off with GTRs. That was your yeah. your big push into the game. Um, and as you can see, it's not only one or two that are sitting around. It's we got five sitting here right now mm -hmm. in all different types of array, I guess, of uh, work. Some are getting engines. Some are getting tuned. Yes. Yeah, some just need to get tuned. Some have no engines in them. Some need to get the engine pulled out and rebuilt and yep. put back together and tuned. Um, so we do it all here, you know, from start to finish. You drop off your car and you pick it up, it's ready to go. You don't have to pick it up from us and take it somewhere else and have someone else work on it. And so we're a one-stop one -stop shop. shop yeah. yeah. When you can see in the back there, there's a whole bunch of other cars getting ready yep. to go through the process. This is uh, the next building that we have at Driver Motorsports. Uh, I know when we walked in, we were pleasantly surprised to see the way that it was laid out. Um, again, the cleanliness and organization, but also there's a lot of love for Vibrant in here. So a lot of Vibrant, a yeah, lot of Vibrant love. So uh, let's go for a walk. All right. So we're in the second building here for Driver Motorsports. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of love for Vibrant. Uh, this is. These guys printed out their own big vibrant uh, flag. We don't got, fortunately, we don't got one that big, but we appreciate seeing that. And one of the walls of vibrant. There's going to be a few that you're going to get to see. Devin is a guys? fab How's daddy. Yeah. Okay. He's fab our daddy. fabricator extraordinaire. I guess that's my new handle, fab yeah. daddy. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you get all uh, get involved with Driver Motorsports? How did you start with working with them? Yeah. So uh, I was actually working for NASCAR, Hedgecock Racing, uh, late models, and 
I had a best friend up here working for Chris. Okay. And apparently he was talking highly of me. Uh, I was 19 at the time. And Chris called me and was like, hey, I'm looking for a fabricator, but I also need somebody who can work on cars. Yep. And I was like, we may be able to work something out. So I came up here one weekend and I gave him the rundown of what I'm capable of, showed him some pictures, and he was like, you're hired. Yep. So ever since then, it's history. That was about two years ago, and I've uh, been loving it ever since. This is fantastic. literally my dream job. That's, I'm sure Chris loves to hear that. <laughs> uh, so this is your kind of area, I guess you can say, yeah, this of, is, uh, uh, work. I mean, it's a great area. It's not like a little tiny area. No, this is, this is awesome. I yeah. mean, when I said it's my dream job, I mean, this is, this is it. Yep. So yeah. uh, this is my fab corner over here. Um, got my welding table, all my fab equipment, uh, all my fab tools hung up. Neat and organized workspaces is our thing. Yep. That's, that's you know our, I respect that. yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we want. That's what we stick by. We want to impress people when they walk in. We always try to keep up to that standard. Fantastic. So what do you see? I guess, I mean, obviously there's lots of vibrant in here. Um, which you know we love to see, of course. Oh, yeah. um, what do you feel is the what makes you want to use all the vacuum that you use? Because you're using quite a bit. Like it's, oh yeah, I mean yeah. we're going through quite a bit. Um, well, here at Driver Motorsports, we try to put out the utmost quality, mm -hmm. of course, and we can only use quality parts. So okay. that's where Vibrant comes in. Um, like Chris was saying before, Rival Thirty Four, Brad, beautiful car, and that was our introduction into Vibrant parts. Okay. We looked into getting titanium through other companies, um, but we found out you guys really have the best quality. And we were like, well, we want something other than couplers. So we were like, let's try out the HD clamps. We see yeah. people are loving them. Let's go ahead and try them. Uh, so we ordered everything up for that car. And ever since then, it's been history. So we, we love everything about you guys. Thank you. Um, so we're going to get you to show us some of the projects you guys are working on. Because again, yeah. you have, you know, we're excited to see all the vibrant and we know that we, you know, as you guys mentioned, there's the uh, R32 from Rival, and so this is uh, where they, where it is right now. Um, please take it away. Yeah. Well, everybody, this is Rival 32, uh, the first garage active wide body kit on a 32 outside of Japan. Uh, if you guys were looking around SEMA time last year, uh, the dry carbon car. This is the same exact kit, just fiberglass. So I roughly have about 600 hours in this car as we speak. We built the car from the ground up before we sent it to paint. We finally got the car back from paint uh, about a week ago. So this car has complete custom wheel tubs. I went ahead and shaved everything from the back of the strut towers forward. Uh, of course, this is the engine for it. Uh, it's phenomenal. It's a work of art and it's absolutely beautiful. I know it's a little bit of work from your side, yeah, a little yeah, work yeah. from yours side so you can see how you guys the teamwork really uh came together well in this one well as i say teamwork makes a dream work right yes it that's does right. definitely so, so a few goodies that's on this thing that is vibrant of course yep is everything here is schedule 10 vibrant pre-packaged ready to rock this uh manifold i have about 30 hours in it has a billet collector um i built this manifold not really going after performance. This is really a showpiece, but it should perform very well. I try to keep performance somewhat in mind. When I laid out all these runners in a collector, it's all based of firing order, spiraling into the turbo. Um, we will find out how that affects turbo spool. Uh, but not only that, the valve covers are all custom. If you know anything about RB26s, there's normally a notch right here uh, that lets the twin turbo pipe come up on the factory cars. There's normally an igniter back here uh, that's completely shaved out. There's normally breather tubes that are right here that is completely shaved as well. Um, so instead of going breathers out the top, I made breathers go across the underside where this igniter only goes. And then there's one 16A in that will go straight to a catch can. This piece is soon to be determined to be released to the public. This is a Driver Motorsports cast bracket and it's got the Ross Performance cast on it and the Rage mechanical fuel pump. Uh, this will be debuting on this car, hopefully at SEMA. And I mean, it's just, it's a masterpiece. It looks fantastic. I mean, definitely, have, we do appreciate the, the nice little setup. And I've noticed that it between other builds that you have is kind of how you set it all up. And of course, I didn't know if it was because Vibro was coming down. So you made it look nice, but it definitely looks nice. But you can see you're not only using yes. one or two parts. Yes, there, right? yes. That's for sure. This is a R32 that's a little <laughs> more complete than that one. 
Uh, this one was another complete spray, engine bay, exterior, complete ground up, uh, engine out, subframes out, fresh rebuild. Um, this one, of course, has a bunch of vibrant goodies. Uh, vibrant HD clamps for days. Uh, this is the old school Blitz Triple K Twin Turbo Kit. Awesome. So, period correct, as we like to stick to. Um, it's got a little bit of modern touch with the HD clamps, of course. Uh, custom air box, custom intercooler piping, uh, custom power steering reservoir, fan shroud, catch can, coolant overflow. I mean, you name it, anything in here has been touched. And if I could put vibrant goodies on it, it has it. So yeah. obviously, as we keep saying, GTRs are, uh, are definitely the lifeline. And it just so happens to have another table full of vibrant <laughs> tie, which I mean, you can't kind of uh, go wrong with. So um, I know this has a great story behind it. I'm sure you'll show us the car that it's going oh, with. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, so we have uh, a lot more titanium on this end. Um, I know you uh, mentioned how much you love the uh, end tanks that we uh, started yes. producing. Yes. And you're excited to work with those. So that's uh, super great to hear. And can't wait to hear the feedback from you as well. Oh yeah, uh, always want to keep feedback in mind just in case if there's anything that can be improved you guys have let me know that you guys will try your best to improve it so yep. i love that about you guys thank you. you guys are always in contact with us yep always trying to make stuff utmost quality thank you very much uh so this is the 240 here yeah so this is the 240z um i will let josh actually explain this one it's sure more sentimental to him. Yeah, the, awesome. uh, so the owner of this car brought it to us for a full restoration. Devin's done a bunch of metal work as far as fixing floor pans and firewall. Mm -hmm. uh, did all this beautiful cage work. Um, was able to just turn something that was nothing into something. Uh, we noticed that on all the toolboxes, you just have like your tags on what everything is on your drawers. Yeah, like yeah make, sure, make sure your tools are clean when you put them away, guys. It makes it makes it a lot easier like when you go you're like ah clean tools let me start on this fresh car yeah all right so this looks like it's going to be the last room of the tour um as you can see it has a lot of great phenomenal like lighting in here um <laughs> 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 sorry i had to use it um you want to take it out from here chris and, yeah uh, yeah i mean basically this is the detail bay and we built this for CJ. He does all our detailing as far as the paint correction. You know, it's a, uh, he'll wet sand, buff, and polish the cars, wax them, and you know, basically bring them back to life. Oh, the paint looks phenomenal once CJ gets <laughs> done with it. So, you know, just seriously, CJ's awesome. Um, he does a great job. It's, it's an art form to be able to do that. So I'm just glad to have him on the team. So yeah, when yeah. you buy a car from Driver Motorsports, I mean, basically you're getting the most care we can give to a car. We recondition that vehicle to the best of our ability. Is it gonna be perfect? No, it's still a 25, 30 year old car. It's not gonna be perfect, but we do what we can to make it as perfect as it can possibly be. Perfect. So wraps up the tour, the mm -hmm. phenomenal tour. The phenomenal tour. <laughs> it was a phenomenal tour. I appreciate it. Thank you hey, guys for. You did phenomenal. Thanks, sure. hey, man. Yeah. Uh, I won in the counter. Yeah, no, you definitely did. Uh, <laughs> thanks for showing us around. Uh, awesome to be here. And uh, we look forward to seeing uh, all the builds get done with our parts and seeing what else we can do together as, uh, as we grow the business together and work more together. All right, guys, so this is going to be the end of the tour of Driver Motorsports. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and comment down below uh, so that Vibrant can keep doing these awesome videos. Uh, and if you like us and think that we're maybe partly entertaining, check out Driver Motorsports YouTube channel. Uh, we post all kinds of build stuff and shop updates and everything on our channels too. Make sure you guys comment at the bottom. We want to know, what do you think? Is it 2JZ? Is it a RB26? Is it rims or is it wheels? Is it rims? Is it wheels? Is it VIP? Is it VIP? Is it VIP poo? Let me, let me know. Let us know. It's, it's wheels and VIP. Yeah. Some may say. <laughs>